What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got another OBS video for you that'll help out a lot of people who are new to streaming and or recording. So if your screen looks something like this one you're playing games, there's a bunch of blocks, it's terribly blurry, well it's not your PC and it probably isn't your internet either. If you're confused with why this is happening, it's most likely because of bitrate and purely bitrate. What do I mean? Well, if I pull across OBS here, head across to settings, output recording, you can see that I'm currently recording at 60,000 kilobits per second, which is 60 megabits per second. Googling for a bit of math, 60 megabits per second for 60 seconds gives me about 450 megs. Recording at this bitrate leaves me at about 4.5 gigs for super high motion video recording. Now, of course, when I'm recording my screen, I could record for a hell of a long time and it gets nowhere near that big. It all depends on how much action there is. And that's probably what's happening with your recording. Because I'm recording at 60 megabits and my screen is completely still, there's basically no data being added. However, if this cap is really low and there's a ton of information and data trying to be added, it all gets compressed down and turned into this blocky mess that you probably saw at the beginning of this video. And if yours looks anything like that, I'd highly recommend changing your bitrate. Now, of course, if you're recording, you could have this as high as you want and as high as your hard disk could handle. And you'd only start getting diminishing returns after, say, probably 60 megabits per second or something like that. I record at 2K and this seems to be a really good bitrate for that resolution. However, at 1080p, you'd probably only record at, say, 40 megabits per second, which is 40,000 kilobits per second. But if you're still experiencing blocks, then make sure to change your bitrate up. Now, of course, I'm using the NVENC encoder, so it uses my graphics card and not my CPU, but you will have this option over here, the preset. For me, it's low latency quality, but for having your graphics card working on encoding the video, these settings don't really matter. You can go ahead and do the research yourself, but usually performance or low latency performance quality sort of does the best. I wouldn't say max quality because that may put on some extra strain where it's not really necessary. If you're recording using the H.264, i.e. your CPU, then this preset will be far more important than it is with the graphics card recording. Why is that? Well, because the faster the setting is there, the less compressed it is and the more bitrate it needs to have good quality. So if you're recording at very fast, then you'll need a ton of bitrate compared to recording at, say, something like medium or even slow, where it's compressed a lot more. And that takes me on to the second half of this video. This was all recording, and the same thing is true for streaming. Now, of course, streaming to different platforms have different limits. Twitch has a limit of about 6,000 kilobits per second, which means that you'll need to compress your video quite well. Now, streaming with NVENC usually wouldn't be an option for high action games, such as first person shooters, because you'll have a ton of movement and color information that needs to be compressed down really tiny, and you'll end up with a bunch of blocks and a blurry mess. You really need a higher bitrate for that. And that comes in with CPU encoding. Now, of course, CPU encoding can look a lot more beautiful and a lot sharper at lower bit rates. However, it does take a ton more processing power, which is why streamers usually have a second computer that's specifically dedicated to encoding video. And that's why they'll use a capture card or NDI to stream it from their first PC at super high bit rate, really low performance impact, and compress it over there with a really high performance impact, and it comes out with a very low bit rate. So of course, streaming is a bit more complicated if you want to get into optimizing it. The simplest thing to do is to just use the maximum bit rate that you're allowed to use. If you're recording and you're having issues, you can pump that up as high as you wanted. As for CBR, VBR, CQP, and lossless, I wouldn't recommend recording lossless, but a VBR or CBR would probably be good enough. I wouldn't recommend recording using the constant quality setting over here, CQP, because that number is a bit confusing to get your head around, but once you do, it may be a little bit better than using CBR or VBR, but that's a bit too in-depth for this video over here. Anyways, that's a super simple fix to this really common issue. Again, I'll show a low bit rate, and then I'll show high bit rate so you can see the difference. And anyways, that's about it. Hopefully this video helped you and gave you some more insight. My name's been Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.